Are you ready to get your fix? With the Wix here on this beautiful Monday, September 12th, 2022, and welcome to the show. If you're a new viewer and want endless amounts of NFL content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe and the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop a video. And as well, if you're a returning viewer and haven't hit that subscribe yet, now is your chance to do so and help me by reaching my goal of 100 subs by October 1st. We're at 82 right now. We're slowly climbing. It's very doable, so hit that subscribe. Now let's get right to it. Week one is basically in the books. We have one more matchup tonight. The Denver Broncos taking on the Seattle Seahawks with the return of Russell Wilson. However, last night we got to witness the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and my boy right here, Tom Brady, absolutely destroy the Dallas Cowboys. Now one thing that goes along with week one football is obviously injuries. It's a part of the game, but we wish it didn't happen. However, the Dallas Cowboys suffered a massive loss last night in the quarterback. Dak Prescott was seen throwing the ball, hitting somebody in the shoulder pad, and then I think the second time it actually hit somebody else's hand. He got basically said, I need to go out on the sideline. Let's go get this checked out. Ran to the locker room, and while Ari Mirov basically broke the news by saying Prescott went to the locker room, his night is over, dot, dot, dot. And now the question becomes if he'll miss any longer. He it, it is on his throwing hand. I believe he was dealing with this a little bit last season when we watched him on Hard Knocks. But now it is officially, well, not so good. And he might miss some time. Actually, he will miss some time because shortly after, just a couple minutes after, well, Jerry Jones broke some news. Breaking Cowboys owner Jerry Jones tells reporters quarterback Dak Prescott will have to undergo hand surgery and will miss several weeks. Miss several weeks. That's a massive blow to the Dallas Cowboys. Massive blow. Yes, last night, they would have probably lost with him anyways. They looked atrocious. The only person that was actually going or doing anything for him was C.D. Lamb. Ezekiel Elliott couldn't get anything going in the backfield. Dak Prescott just couldn't find any other receiver. The Cowboys looked abysmal. Their defense, it did okay. Not the greatest in the world. Tampa Bay takes the win. But with Dak Prescott getting injured, now Cooper Rush is their quarterback. How many weeks and how serious is this injury? Well, Ian Rapport covered how serious this injury was. He said uh, Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott is set for surgery to repair a fracture in the thumb of his throwing hand. A clean fracture that knocks him out more than a month. He'll have a firm timeline after, or will have a firm timeline after the procedure is done so how long is this going to or how long is this injury projected to be well as adam Schefter says a timeline from overnight cowboys quarterback dak prescott is scheduled to have surgery on his right thumb today and is expected to miss six to eight weeks multiple sources told espn's at todd archer so six to eight weeks that is a massive blow for the dallas cowboys that could be you know the difference between winning the division and losing the division this is huge Right, I've always said the Cowboys are not America's team. They are the entertainment team. They always seem to be in the news. Yes, this is not the greatest news, but they always seem like, oh, this is our year. This is our year. More than any other franchise in the National Football League, and yet they never end up doing anything. And with this injury to Dak Prescott, that only further executes my point of saying, Cowboys aren't going to do anything. Cooper Rush is not going to be able to lead them where they need to go, and that's to obviously the playoffs and then to the Super Bowl. It's just not going to happen, especially with six to eight weeks with Dak Prescott out. I expect Dallas to probably lose five to six of those ball games, especially after watching what they did last night against Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So let's look at their schedule. How how many games or how, how many serious games is Dak Prescott going to miss? Here's their full schedule. Now he is projected to miss six to eight weeks. So we look at week two, Bengals, week three, the Giants, week four, the Washington Commanders, week five, the Los Angeles Rams, week six, the Philadelphia Eagles. The earliest he could return right there would be in week seven. Yeah, week seven against the Detroit Lions. So he's missing out on the Bengals next week. Massive matchup. The Bengals almost beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, didn't pull it away in overtime. The Bengals will beat Cowboys, okay? The New York Giants pulled off a miraculous upset against the Tennessee Titans. We still don't know full on if the uh, if the New York Giants are something special. Saquon seems to be on the right track. Commanders, Cowboys will probably pull away with that one. The Rams, the Rams are going to stroll into Dallas and, well, or 
Dallas is going to stroll into the Rams and get beat. Then we look at Philadelphia, a, a, a division rival. They're going to miss out on one, two, three division games Dak Prescott is going to miss. Those are key matchups. Now, the latest he could end up coming back, which would be Minnesota, I want to say. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the, or the latest he would come back would be against Minnesota. Okay, on November 20th, Sunday, November 20th, it's a 325 game. They would be in U.S. Bank Stadium. That would be the latest he would come back. Maybe it gets pushed back even further, depending on how the Cowboys season ends up going at that point in the season. Let me tell you guys, Cowboys are screwed. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough road ahead. Hopefully, Cooper Rush can find something or figure something out to help this Cowboys team win some ball games. Maybe Jimmy G is an option. You never, never know. You can't count that out. Maybe Jimmy G is also an option to go to New York Giants, but that ain't the case. Dak Prescott will miss several weeks, projected to be six to eight weeks, missing three divisional games. Who knows how this team is going to end up? But let me tell you, this is a massive blow for the Dallas Cowboys. So have a great rest of your day. Make sure to hit that subscribe. The goal is 100 subscribers by October 1st. I know it's doable, so make sure to hit that subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And you just got your fix with the Wicks.